Import images as planes add-on enabled. Then import the world texture on a plane. In edit mode, rotate 90 degrees along the Y and add a loop cut. Add subsurf modifier level 6 and choose simple. Now you can add a simple deform modifier, choose bend, and an angle of 180. One more deform modifier, this time on the Z axis, and do a full 360. Scale big. Uncheck show back face and materials and shade smooth. Now you can apply the modifiers and in edit mode, clean it up by choosing merge by distance. Way better than UV spheres. Now select your lamp, make it a sun, strength of 8, angle of 0. Choose a blue background color. Now duplicate your texture, open up the glossiness map, connect it to the roughness input, and tweak it with a color ramp. Open the normal map, throw in a normal map node, non-color data, and connect it up. Yeah, strength of 0.5 is good. Lastly, you can open up the illumination map and connect it to the emission input. Now adding this simple node setup with the shader to RGB node, you can create a simple mask for these shadows. Just a mix node and then multiply it onto the illumination map. Now for some atmosphere, use the layer weight node with a small value, and again mix the shadow mask to it, and then you can use that as a factor to add some color to your diffuse. Now duplicate the earth, scale it just a tiny bit and give it a new material. Now open the clouds texture and just connect it to the alpha input. Change the blend to alpha blend and the shadow to alpha hashed. Slap on some bloom effects and now you can rotate the sun to control the time of day. And there's our world. Of course if you're a flat earther, just well, you know, leave it as a plane.